Hey everybody, welcome to the Frankie Slauson Show, and uh, it is Saturday, June 1st, 2013, and uh, today is the start of uh, Frankie's Icons of Pop Culture series, where I go and I find the biggest icon, uh, or icons I should say, and try to see if I can get an interview with them, and, 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 and share their story, and, and uh, talk about their, you know, why they, why they... And this this uh, story here, while I am not talking with uh, the icon of Michael Jackson, but I am talking with somebody who uh, uh, Michael Jackson who uh, did who loved him uh, enough to where he was some type of show as a tribute show to him in his memory. I'm talking to producer Robert, and we are talking about the ultimate thriller tour that's coming to you, first of all, in Bemidji, Minnesota, on June 6th, coming Thursday, and uh, welcome, Robert, to the Frankie Slauson Show. Hey, how are you doing? I'm Thanks doing, for having me. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, uh, so, started, how, how did this whole th- idea come up with? How did you come up with it? Well, like uh, most Michael Jackson fans, uh, you know, the news of his death uh, was shocking. And I knew in that exact moment when I heard the news that that my next part of my life would be dedicating to doing something to keep his memory and his love and his spirit and his music alive. And so when I had recovered from the shock of his untimely passing, I made a few phone calls and said, let's let's put this thing together. And, and that's basically what happened. Okay. And, and you just thought the idea to just kind of do some type of tribute in, in his memory pretty much. Well, tributes have been around uh, in the music industry for, for decades, whether it's Elvis tributes or Beatles tributes. And, and so a lot of times what happens, you know, when, when the death of a, an icon like Michael Jackson happens, a lot of tributes pop up, right? And, and mostly people are trying to capitalize on his passing and, and the, 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 the knowledge that there's going to be a lot of people wanting to see and hear Michael Jackson music, all right? Our thought process was completely different. Um, I wanted to make sure that what we do with the Ultimate Thriller was as close to a Michael Jackson performance as possible. We went out of our way to to work with some of Michael Jackson's closest inner circle people. So we're, we're not just another tribute. We're not a few guys on stage dancing to some tracks. This is a full-blown concert replication of what Michael did during his early years. So by the fact that we were able to, and still do, they're part of our team, our creative team, um, some of Michael Jackson's closest inner circle, it gives us, you know, an authenticity level that um, these other guys just don't have. Yeah, and, and it just seems like it, you know, it seems like it's just something that, uh, that in a way needed to be done because you know, Michael Jackson was such a a, a legendary performer, and it's a, you know when he did die, that was a complete shock because he was just getting ready, getting prepared for the uh, his final tour, or in, uh, I believe it was like uh, in the UK or something like that. He was going to be working yeah, on the yeah. this, this is, is it this tour. Going to be at the uh, O2 Arena. They sold out fifty shows. Yeah, so. it was pretty too. It was pretty sad, you know, when when he couldn't uh, you know to do that. You know, when he was, uh, I remember he had like a press conference saying that this is it. This is uh, the last of uh, the tours, and uh, and uh, they're going to start working on it. And uh, yeah, it just kind of weird how that kind of happens, I guess. Well, it, you know, it, it's uh, it is sad, like you said, and you know, you never know when it's uh, it's your time. You know, and obviously it was his time, and uh, um, it is sad. And so we're we're here to keep his legacy alive and moving forward and uh, to do it uh, to do it right or not do it all and that's basically our motto is we're either going to do this right or we're not going to do it at all and so go big or go home is, is another phrase that is said a lot between between our creative team and our, and our cast right so everything we do is is as big as we can do it on our scale now obviously when Michael Jackson performed he was performing in stadiums uh-huh. and we are not performing in stadiums. So uh, our production is obviously scaled down to stadiums, but we are doing some arenas. Um, and so it is a massive production. Um, we are touring around the country with uh, semis full of production and tour buses. It's, 
it's a big production. It will absolutely blow people's minds because it is so close to the real thing. Um, it's just mesmerizing. It truly is. So, uh, uh, when, when you, uh, like, decide, like, the set of songs that you want to perform for the, the concert, like, uh, how do you, like, go through all the library of tunes that he's uh, recorded? Well, we decided to hone in on a very small period of his life, and we chose to uh, go after what he was doing during his bad tours and his dangerous tour uh, back in the late 80s and early 90s. Now, that gave us a, a, a construct to work with, and so we then sat down, looked at all the material, and said, okay, these are the songs we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it based upon this tour, this way. This is the lighting scheme. This is this, the set design, you know, all these different things. Um, so by focusing in on, on a small piece, a little bit easier to pick material because, my God, the man has hundreds of songs to pick from. Oh, yeah. So... Um, we, we chose a very small period of of his um, professional life to, to concentrate on. So more like a lot, lot of the hit songs, Big Off? A a absolutely. You know, I mean, we, we play, you know, all of the, all of his biggest songs during that time. You know, we're playing her and Beat It and Billy Jean and Man in the Mirror and Heal the World and Smooth Criminal and, you know, another dozen songs. But they were all hits during that time. Okay. And so, um, it, you know, if... It, it, any of this fan or that, you know, when you get into the history tour and, and what was going on, this is in all these other things that he was doing, we're not covering that material yet. We'll get there. Oh, you know, sure. after a couple of years, we'll revamp the show and we'll move up another another four or five years. Yeah. Um, but for now, we wanted to concentrate on his on his early years. I, I saw like a like a, a YouTube like a few YouTube videos anyway that I was telling you about a few days ago when we were ta talking uh, that you I even heard uh, a little bit of the Jackson uh, like you did some of stuff when he was, Michael was a kid. Absolutely, yep. We have a Jackson Five medley in there just like uh, he did in his shows, and so um, you know his brothers are out there now uh, doing a tour, and so you know, this is also a little bit of a tribute to them, you know, of course as well as Michael, and so we have. Uh, about a seven or eight minute segment uh, in the show that uh, features uh, uh, early Jackson Five songs. Cool, yeah, and and I, and I, I suppose that the feedback has been really positive because uh, when I was looking at some of these YouTube videos, uh, you know, just a few that I saw, that uh, they, they asked uh, some of the fans, you know, after the show, like what they thought, and and it seemed like everybody was pretty much blown away. Like like it pretty much gave it, gave it to the fact that uh, Jackson was still alive. Pretty much. Absolutely. You, you know, and so some of the comments that I've said to you so far today, they're not personal comments. They're comments based upon the feedback from those who have viewed so. Um, you know, we, we work very, very hard behind the scenes to bring, you know, Michael's fans, you old alike, the extent that Michael would have brought them. And again, it all stems back to having Lavelle Smith and Michael Prince and Nick Thompson, these guys that work with Michael for for you know, 20, 25 years, knew everything inside and out of what happened. So having these guys on board is, is just, it's, it's priceless. And, and the fans, they notice the difference. So um, we're not trying to replace Michael. We're not trying to do any of that. We're simply trying to keep his spirit, his music alive the way he would want it to be presented. I have a guy that you uh, that uh, you have to be the the Michael Jackson uh, impersonator, so to speak. Uh, I don't know if that's a proper name for it or not, but uh, you, a tribute artist. Tribute artist. Okay, that sounds a lot yep. better. <laughs> because that's what doing he's, he's paying tribute to Michael. Okay, uh, and uh, you have him. His name is Fabio, as you were telling me. Yep, correct. And uh, I'm, I like to ask him a couple questions, if that's okay. Absolutely. Fabio, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> say hello uh, to all the fans, Fabio. Yeah, say hi there. Bro. Hello to, hello to old fans. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you even kind of sound sound like Michael Jack a little bit, you know, just kind of that that quietness, kind of that he uh, that he kind of had when he would when he would speak. So the first question I'd like to ask Fabio is, uh, how did you how did you get picked to be Michael Jackson? Hi, well, Fabio is um, actually from Italy. And um, we found Fabio online through, oh. and so uh, how appropriate that we're doing a YouTube interview. 
Yeah, no kidding. Um, and so we've viewed hundreds of uh, Michaels out there, and, and like I said, we found Fabio, and um, we actually went with them and started talking with them and shared with him our vision. And what we, Of course, he's a lifelong Michael Jackson fan as well as the tribute artist, and, and uh, so he's like, absolutely, let's do this. So Fabio is is going to be uh, with us on the Okay, well, that, that, that's exciting. And, and uh, Fabio, what are your favorite uh, Michael Jackson tunes? What are his favorite Michael songs? Okay. Uh, my, my favorite Michael Jackson song, the first, the first is, uh, is another part of me. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the rhythm for, for the words, for the lyrics, and uh, for the uh, metal. Melody, melody, yeah, for the melody. Okay, uh, it's just kind of a song that kind of, kind of gets you, kind of, kind of gets you in a good, a good feeling, kind of. Oh. The song makes you want to dance. Okay, another part of me. It makes you want to dance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Uh, makes me mm, dance. <laughs> so. So were you pretty honored when the uh, Robert uh, or whoever decided to find you or pick you uh, uh, when you got the job anyway? Hang on. We were excited when we called you to be part of TUT. Yes, it's, a, it's an honor for me. It's a honor because it's a incredible team uh, with uh, Robert. Robert is, is great. He's a producer. And... Uh, uh, the the persons uh, uh, work that work with Michael Jackson. It's a honor uh, work with uh, Lavelle Smith, Michael Prince, Mick Thompson. It's a honor. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we we look forward to to seeing you uh, this Thursday uh, in Bemidji, Minnesota, uh, on June sixth. Uh, I know I'm going to be there, and uh, I've never. I have never personally ever experienced a Michael Jackson concert and always wanted to. I don't know back when I was a little kid, you know, like 20 years ago, if he uh, came around my area or not. I'm pretty sure he might have, but I never had that experience and always kind of wanted to. And when I found out that you guys were doing a tribute show, like I was saying before uh, a couple of days ago when we were chatting, I was kind of skeptical at first because, you know, everybody does a tribute show and, you know, they think they're perfect and everything like that. But then I saw the videos on YouTube. And it blew me away, and I said, I got to do this. I got to find a way to talk to you guys and then go to the show and be blown away by everything you guys have to offer. Well, we certainly think that's going to happen. Uh, it, it's, uh, and as I told you uh, prior to the call, maybe we get you up there early and we'll do a little behind-the-scenes footage for you so you can share that with your your uh, fans on YouTube and you know, a little taste of what goes into putting a show of this magnitude together. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a massive undertaking. You know, our day starts at 8 o'clock in the morning for an 8 o'clock at night performance uh -huh. where we're loading in, you know, all this gear that we're touring with. So it's, it's, a, it's a big thing. So, you know, we're, we hope that uh, the people from the Bemidji area and, and all the rest of the areas that we're going to around the country, we're doing 10 weeks worth of shows. Sure. Um, for the first leg of the tour, um, between 45 and 50 shows, and, and we're covering most of the U.S., and we're doing a week worth of shows in Canada as well. So what are uh, your, some of your favorite Michael Jackson tunes there, Robert? Oh, me? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, you know, it's Fabio actually asked me this question a few days ago, and it's so hard to pick just one song for me. So I, I love playing Smooth Criminal. Uh -huh. You know, uh, Smooth Criminal is just, uh, you know, like Fabio, I love the groove. I love the music, you know, the, the storyline behind it. Um, you know, jeez, I, I, dozens. <laughs> there isn't one that I don't like, but if I had to pick one to be the, the number one, it, it would be uh, Smooth Criminal. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good song. I remember when uh, Alien Ant Farm did that song, and at first, you know, before I knew that it was a Michael Jackson song, I actually thought it was an Alien Ant Farm song. You remember that band <laughs> when they covered that song? Yeah, I, I, I do. I uh, actually, uh, before um, the Ultimate Thriller was uh, uh, conceptualized, I've been playing in a, in a corporate-type band for years, and we actually covered 
the alien ant farm version of Smooth Criminal. Oh boy! So uh, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, my, I I have a, a favorite to it. Uh, uh, the song called "Blood on the Dance Floor." I know it's not a major hit for for Michael wow. Jackson, but it's a uh, it's a uh, to me. I think it just has it just says everything in a song. You know, I feel it's a feel good song. <laughs> It is, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> we, <laughs> excuse me, anguished a lot over which songs to pick for the show, and um, Blood on the Dance Floor was one of them, and uh, same thing with Dirty Diana, and, and, but um, we chose for this this tour and this time that um, w- those two songs are not in the show, uh-huh. but uh, Blood on the Dance Floor is a great song. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, for me, I've always been kind of, you know, when it comes to a certain artists, you know, like when I used to be on the radio, I, I used to love just playing, I mean, besides the hits, because you, you you see the hits all the time or you hear the hits all the time, I was the type of guy who liked to play a lot of deep tracks, you know, a lot of the songs that you don't normally like, well, who, who, who did this song, you know, it's like, oh, this is the guy that's been around for a long time, you know, he, you know he's been, you know, he, you only hear the hits from this person, so it's like, I always like to hear a, a few hidden tracks, so to speak, you know. When it comes to certain artists, even like Michael Jackson, because he has so many, so many different uh, deep tracks, you know, so uh, so many different uh, songs in his catalog that nobody's ever heard of. Well, exactly, you know, and some of it is too that these days, and even in the past, touring, going on the road and performing concerts is is a way to reach your fans directly. But in a concert, you know, the concert can only go on for so many hours, uh-huh. and you can only cover so much material yeah. um, within those concerts. And so there's always amazing songs that are, like you said, B-tracks or whatever, that, you know, are on albums that get radio time and that are just not ever performed live because there's just not enough time to cover all the hits. Oh, sure. Yeah, I understand. And, and eventually a person gets tired, too, you know, after dancing for, like, how, how long is an average show for people who don't know? How Our show is two and a half hours long. See, that's a lot of dancing. That's a lot of moving. That's a lot of music, you know, in that, that short time or that we, long we, time. <laughs> we cover 19 songs in the concert. Jeez. And and, and that kind of fills a two and a half hour spot. And, and yeah, I mean, because uh, you can only imagine, like, uh, even like the Rolling Stones who are still, I don't know, I think they did their farewell tour, but, I mean, for, for as old as they are, to still be able to rock and roll, you know, uh, at their age, I mean, holy crap. <laughs> yep, they're, they're still out there doing it now. They're actually on tour right now. Okay, so speak. so they're not, I thought they were doing, like, a farewell tour, but maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not sure um, this is deemed as their farewell tour, but it, it, there can't be many days left <laughs> um, in these guys. Um, it, and, and like I said, God love them. They're, they're out there. They're in their 60s, late yeah. 60s. And they're up there pounding it out, you know, day in and day out like they did when they were in their 30s or 40s. Oh, sure. Right? So um, it, it's it's amazing to be able to go see guys like that. Yeah. And, um, and so, um, yeah, it's great. So the, the last, uh, I have a couple more questions for you before we end this interview. The, the first question is... Uh, uh, even though Michael Jackson uh, was, you know, going to do the last set of concerts uh, for, for his final, you know, for this This Is It uh, tour, do you think that eventually he would have came back and did more music uh, a few years later if he were still been alive? A- a- absolutely, and I, I can actually tell you from dealing with the people behind the scenes <laughs> that he absolutely was going to be releasing new music, one hundred percent, and they had been working on that. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, his untimely passing, uh, you know, that music never got to be released. Okay. And, and then the last question is, like, uh, well, more, more or less a statement, I guess. Like, what, or, or I suppose it would be a question. Uh, what would, what do you want to say to the fans that haven't seen the show that, uh, that might be able to see it uh, if you guys are coming to the area? Um, well, first, let me put a couple things in here. If you want to find out where we're going to be and when we're going to be, you can find out information in two places. You can go directly to our website, which is um, theultimatethriller.com. Again, www.theultimatethriller.com. Um, or you can look us up on Facebook. We post all of our stuff up on Facebook. Um, Facebook.com forward slash theultimatethriller. All right. 
And so what I would suggest, if, if you're a Michael Jackson fan, or not even a Michael Jackson fan, a diehard fan, but grew up listening to his music, you've got to come see this show. This, this is absolutely the closest thing to what Michael was doing. He was doing it. And you will definitely not leave that concert unhappy. It is going to bring you memories for years. Uh, for those who had a chance to, to experience a Michael Jackson concert before in the past, uh, uh, let me tell you, it is going to be bringing back some memories, and it's going to be an emotional night. You know, the minute we take the stage to the minute we end, it, it's, it's choreographed, directed. It is well thought out. And uh, all night long when we play, people are constantly screaming, we love you, Michael, we love you. So um, I, I can't wait to see everybody in the road. We hope you come uh, see the show, become fans of ours, and, uh, and we'll see you not only on this tour, but you know when we circle back around, come to your city again soon. All right. Well, I tell you what, I, I definitely appreciate uh, you let me uh, have this chance to do an interview with you because, uh, because like I said, I, I, I'm very thrilled, no pun intended, to, uh, to to talk to you and to even be able to take part in your your, your concert and uh, whatever you want to do to help me get backstage or, or however that works. I've never, I've heard something like that before, so it's like all, it's going to be all me, so... <laughs> Well, we'll give you uh, we'll give you the VA treatment and take you backstage and make sure you have your camera with you and stuff and okay. take some video and we'll do some interviews and Michael Prince will be there and Lavelle Smith will be there and we'll let you talk to them a little bit. We'll show you some of the actual production, you know, behind the scenes and everything that goes on, you know, on a concert of this level. Like I said, though we're a tribute, this show is presented like any other major touring concert out there today. Uh, we, are, we are traveling with a concert lighting rig, a massive video wall, uh, set piece, special effects. It, it, is, it is a massive undertaking for a tribute. So when people think tributes, they have a predetermined sort of uh, notion in the brain of what a tribute is. This breaks that shell completely. And so I would just uh, urge you to find the... Uh, the city that we're going to be closest to you and and come on and get it grab a couple tickets and then come enjoy two and a half hours of an absolute amazing concert well it sounds like a fun time and uh i think uh uh when you guys come to bemidji it's a a, a good way to kick off the summer i'd say absolutely we're looking forward to it. in fact just as a little side note you know i want to thank the people up there in, in bemidji um, they are actually hosting us for five days. This are doing our technical rehearsals uh, for the tour. So we're actually going to be in Bermidji for, for five days. Um, we start loading in on June 2nd, and we have uh, four days of technical rehearsals and followed by the concert on June 6th. So uh, we can't say enough to uh, those people up there at the venue and, and the promoter, and just uh, thank you so much. We're we're just blessed that you you know you're having us up there, and looking forward to coming. Yeah, Bemidji's a good town. I, I think I think you guys will like it. And if, if you're looking for something to do for like a movie or something like that, they got theaters. They got you know they got places to shop. They got places to eat. Uh, I can't say enough about uh, enough good things about Bemidji either because I've been there for uh, a wrestling event for TNA Wrestling, and then I was there for just recently for the Monster Trucks, and uh, it's it's a beautiful city. Yeah, well, like I said, we can't wait to see it, and uh, not not going to have a lot of time to take in a lot of the local flavor only because uh, it uh, technical rehearsals can be long and grueling. Sure, sure. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll have enough time to see some, a few fun things in, in the city, and uh, we may take our own cameras around and share that with the fans, too. Oh, sure. Well, I tell you what there, Robert I, and Fabio, I want to say thank you, and this has been a big honor, and I can't wait to meet you guys on June 6th uh, before the big concert. Thank you very much. All right, man. You have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. And that was the, uh, the Ultimate Thriller crew, Robert and uh, Fabio. Who uh, is uh, Fabio? Who is going to be doing the uh, Michael Jackson tribute? Who, who will be the uh, uh, tribute entertainer uh, for the Michael Jackson uh, concert? And uh, you gotta check these guys out if if they do come to your area. And I will put down the link and everything like I always do for everybody that I've had on. Uh, this is the first uh, uh, first out of many of this summer of. Uh, 
my little show uh, what I'm doing, Frankie's Icons of Pop Culture, which means that I find somebody who has made a big impact on pop culture, whether it be in film, whether it be whether it be in film or whether it be on, on TV or music or whatever, uh, and uh, interview them uh, like I did uh, during my uh, season of, of the Frankie Slauson show, but, but more intense because these are people that are icons, and, and we describe why they're icons and what they have done in their life to become icons. And uh, I got a few guests lined up. I'm trying to get uh, as many as I can, and uh, I guess uh, this summer will be full of surprises. So uh, thank you to the Michael Jackson Thriller crew, and uh, it will be a lot of fun to uh, check out the uh, the concert before it starts. And, and uh, I can't really say a whole lot more uh, until it actually happens, but uh, uh, I think you guys will be blown away. So anyway, Frank's awesome, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.